What's up, Internet World? My name is Thomas Badass, and I just committed a good, good crime today. You see, I murdered this fucking dumbass with glasses named James, and I managed to rob his entire house for his possessions. What I've decided to do especially is to steal this supposedly haunted cartridge of Godzilla Monster of Monsters. With it, I think I can probably redeem all my crimes and maybe even go through a character arc where everyone views me as a hero. I haven't seen anything on it, but that's gotta be true. Who cares about introductions? Let's start the game already! Erm, um, what the flock? I don't think this is what the title screen is supposed to look like. Let's just start. Again. So the beginning of the game has you getting yelled at your boss for committing the relatable and completely justified act of causing property damage. I assume that big purple thing is the thing I'm playing as, and if he's the one responsible for it, well, I think the boss ought to lay off. Cause like I said, it's completely justifiable and good. Oh, well, if they're gonna give me the option. What? A game over? Already? What kind of sick and twisted video game would give you the option to game over when you've barely even started the game to begin with? Whatever. I'm not leaving until I get that character arc, so let's just start again and listen to my stupid boss's orders who I work for. Now we're outside of where I work, assuming in Leona. Alright, uh, breaking character for a minute, I, I gotta be honest, I could not find a way to sneak a joke into this screenshot alone. I promise this won't happen again, but uh, I'm sorry, for now. All of a sudden, this Yakuza-looking fellow comes from the left of the screen, and yelling all this garbage at the top. I think I can pretty much take one on, so... Watch this! What the literal hell?! I'm like defeated by so many of these! Ah! Something tells me this game isn't gonna be easy. Well, just so it knows, I'm not gonna be easy either. I'm gonna be as hard as possible! Um, uh, that is to say, I'm gonna try harder. After some very intelligent and carefully calculated walking around, I managed to make it to, uh, my home, I, I think. And there's a note at the floor. Let's read it. Surely I can't get a game over from that. Ah, I didn't know that- You've gotta be kidding me! How does anyone die from that?! You know what? Let's just try going to the movies. Surely that will both not kill me and advance the plot, right? Alright, so far so good. Oh my god. Let's try this instead. Singing karaoke. Oh, it isn't that bad. I'll show you what I think, barkeep. I don't know about you, but I think that was worth getting a game over for. <laughs> well, while that was funny, the point still stands that I still don't know how to progress in this game. If you're wondering, I also tried going to the Pachinko machines, but... So you know what that means. It's time to cheat. I used the leftover game genie I also stole from James's house and used it to skip down this level right here. There's an out-of-place cloud in the sky, and I assume I'm supposed to be in the water. I wonder what this stage will be like. One of the Yakuza members from the beginning showed up. I wonder why he's here. What could I have possibly done to offend these guys, aside from all the murder? I doubt these guys will be effective in water. Uh, what's happening? Oh god, I know where this is going. Uh, that's it. I'm just using a password to skip straight to the end of the game. Just, uh, 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 I think I've earned that arc by now. Surely enough, the treasure was right there, and this guy, too.
weirdo. Anyway, just like that, I got the, the treasure and got sent to this end screen. Surely that face in the middle is going to compliment me for my her heroism, right? Hey guys, James here. You aren't gonna believe the crazy dream I just had right now. <laughs> 